"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and me and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When, what, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away, I, away to the window, I flew, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw open the sash. Threw off the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear, but a miniature <coughs> set play an eight tiny reindeer. <coughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment that it must be St. Nick. A rocket in the <coughs> and his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild can fly. When they meet an obstacle mount to the sky. So to, up to the house top, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys. And St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing upon the each show hoops. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with, with ashes and soot. Bundle of toys he had flung on his back as he looked and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how many, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn out like a bow, and then he and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. <coughs> he had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plumped, a right jolly old elf, and, that, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of an eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all his stockings, and turned his head, <coughs> and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprang to the sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and the way they all flew like the down of a whistle. But I heard him explain ere he drew up out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Yes, Connor, well done, sir. Yeah.